Hey guys, it's Tanita, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Um, hey, what's up? I know I've been gone for almost a month, but um, I'm back, and um, I'm sick once again. Um, luckily, it wasn't from the same, like, bus girl that I was talking about. It was actually from my nephew. Anyways, um, I'm back with another video, um, and this video is going to be a tea with Tanita, just because... I am sick and I kind of don't want to ruin my vocal cords because they're already like, you know, straining out and they really hurt. Um, so what's better than talking? Um, this Tea with Tanita is going to be about relationships because um, it is cuffing season and um, that just gives me the reason. Wow, bars. Anyways, um... Yeah, this Tea with Tanita video is going to be about relationships and stuff like that. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. So, currently, right now, no, uh, your girl is not in a relationship. Although, I wish I was. Personally, right now, in my life, I feel like I am ready for one. Just because, you know, I am comfortable enough with myself. Um... And, like, back then, I really wasn't, like, you know, very comfortable with being myself and everything like that. And, like, um, I just wanted a relationship just to have a relationship. If we flash back to, like, freshman year, um, I would definitely, like, tell my freshman year self, like, sis, if you don't find yourself and stop, you know, looking for a relationship, like, we would be at a good state right now, okay? Like, hello, hello, you wouldn't be failing, you would be paying attention about your classes and everything like that, um, like, we would be set on track to graduate. Anyways, um, I feel like now, since I'm in my senior year, and I've, I definitely feel like over the years, I have definitely, like, found myself and, like, found more confidence within myself, um, like, I feel like I'm ready to, handle a relationship and the things that come <coughs> <coughs> the things that come with a relationship you know just because um like I've I've been through so much already and like yeah so I definitely feel you know like you get that feeling you're just like yeah it, it's about time it's about time it's one of those feelings like it's about time okay I'm sick of the tomfoolery girl um I think what I really want to like talk to like talk about in this video um is like what I'm looking for in a relationship and like my pet peeves when it comes to relationships and like my ideal person although like if I were to say like if you were to ask any of my friends they'd be like oh yeah she has a type but to me personally I don't think that I have a type like I don't know. I I just don't think that I have a type. That's just me. But I mean, like, if you were to ask, like, I don't know. Let's say if you were to throw my cousin, hey Jasmine, um, in here, she would be like, yeah, she definitely has a type. Um, but personally, me, I I don't think that I have a type. I'll also go over that too because like that's that's so annoying that people are just like. You know, assuming, assuming that I have a type, because I don't. Anyways, like, let's, let's get into it further, girl. So, the things that I'm, like, kind of looking for in a relationship and a person, um, like, just basic relationship necessities. <laughs> like, you would know, Goober. Um, you have to be kind, you have to be smart, you have to be, like, I don't know, like, uh, basic relationship necessities like everybody knows what that means like once again like you would know um respectfulness is like a really big thing for me just because in the past years aka freshman year me um was not very like smart and i mean like i'm not smart now but she was like dumb dumb girl like <sighs> i would like you know talk to these guys who like wouldn't like treat me with respect and I don't know why I like fell for them like I didn't I had my rose colored glasses on girl and I was just like oh but he's so cute and my friends are like girl <laughs> are you seeing 
what I'm seeing and I'm like, but he's so cute. Girl, are you dumb? Like, maybe a little bit. Now that I see it, um, it was a lot of it. But like, um, I was always stuck in like these situationships where every, like, the, the guys, well, the guy at the time I was talking to, um, were like, um, but anyways, I was dumb. I will say that. But now I feel like I am less dumb and I know what I want. Like, I'm not a picky person. I just know what I want, if that makes any sense. Another thing I'm looking for is, like, a person with personality. I know that may seem like, oh my god, like, that's so basic. But, like, every guy out here is, every guy that I talk to, okay, literally has no personality at all. And I mean it. Like, n no personality. Like, our whole conversation is this. Like, I need to hold a conversation with a person. And this is my conversation with, um, let's just call this person boy this is me hey hey what's up oh nothing much what are you doing nothing much oh cool what are you doing oh nothing oh cool like i i Conversations like those are my biggest pet peeves. <coughs> if you can't hold a conversation, I will probably not talk to you. I like having conversations. I like talking. As you can see by like all my videos, some of them, some of them, some of them are like 12, some are like 25 minutes, but I just love talking like I know I may seem like I'm shy at first, but, like, once you, like, really get to, like, or, like, yeah, once you get really get to know me, or, like, if you want to make an effort to talk to me, then I will talk to you, you know? I am just a very talkative person, um, but I just don't show it at first, so, I mean, like, yeah, I think th that's, like, another thing also that I want to address in this video later on, um, but, like, if you're going to have a dull conversation with me, then... Like, there is no point in me talking to you. You're, like, think that my random conversation having is, like, annoying. Or, like, my random topics are annoying. Because, like, if I want to talk about pickles and, like, you're just, like, what the heck, man? You're so weird. Like, you're probably not the one for me, honestly. Like, I just need somebody who can hold a conversation and who, know, who knows how to have a good conversation. Because if you cannot have a good conversation, then, like... There is no point in us going back and forth. Like, you just can't ask me what I'm doing every, like, two minutes. Because I'm almost positive I'm doing the same thing. Like, really, really, is what I'm doing really interesting. No. Another thing, and I don't want to seem, like, super picky for this, um, but you have to have a sense of style. I hate guys who can't dress. I'm going to insert a picture right here of a guy who I think can dress. On this side, I'm going to insert a picture of a guy who I think cannot dress for his life. If you can't switch up what you're wearing at all, then, like, I don't want to talk to you. And, like, it may, uh, I just hate guys without a sense of, like, style. Guys think, like, Trading basketball shorts out for sweatpants or like Adidas pants is like doing something. And do you think that you are like top tier fashionista? Like, no, no, you're not, girl. I don't want to sound like I'm super like, you know, I, I don't know what, what I'm looking for. I was going to say like, you know, like picky, which makes me sound extremely picky, but, like, I mean, like, I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking you to switch it up sometimes. Ta-da! I definitely think that I have a problem with, like, liking people who do nice things for me. And I know I'm not the only person who, like, goes through this, but, like, honestly, it gets annoying sometimes because, like, it is, you know... Anyways, like, I feel like I have a problem with finding attraction to people 
to, who do like anything nice for me. Like you could like, I don't know, hand me a slip of paper and I'm, uh, and I'm gonna be like, oh my God, he just handed me a slip of paper. He's so cute. That was so nice of him. Or like if somebody were to like, you know, like not bump into me in the hallways, I'd be like, oh my God, he just like, Decided to let me walk it through the hallways. That was so cute. Um, that's definitely one of my problems, and I need to stop that. Um, am I gonna get this through my kind of thick skull? Probably not, because I'm probably gonna like fall in love with like, I don't know, a person who freaking hands me a basket at the grocery store or something like that. I'm like, oh my god, he just handed me a basket. How sweet. Um, I need to stop that. Um, also, I wanted to um, mix this in with like another thing that I wanted to talk about too. Me not having a type. Um, personally, to me, ding, 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 um, I don't have a type personally. The way I see it, because it's coming from my point of view, I don't think that I have a type. <coughs> but if you were to, oh my god, that was so ugly. Um, if you were to ask anybody else around me, I feel like they would say that I have a type, which, in fact, I don't. Um, I like who I like, and I know, like, I say that to everybody a lot, and I'm just like, okay, but you like this kind of person, and I'm like, I like everyone, especially if you're nice to me, um, but I feel like like I don't have a type I like who I like and like it doesn't matter your race ethnicity like whatever those two tie in together so well because like I don't know I'm not saying that I find everybody attractive who like does anything nice for me but I'm just saying that like I have a problem with you know mildly attractive people doing nice things for me and me automatically getting a crush on them is my ordeal um i think that was pretty like self-explanatory but like yeah that, that's my whole that's my whole spiel on that okay so personally i feel like i am not in a relationship for a lot of reasons but like um um i could honestly go on an hour of, like long journey with you guys about this but um i'm probably just gonna like name a few things why i think i am not in a relationship for um I don't, my mom says this a lot, and, like, sometimes, like, I get her, but I don't get her in the same sense. She says that I am, I look like I am, like, a very intimidating person to talk to, which I don't really get because I'm not scary, and, like, I don't, you know, hold myself up on this pedestal that I'm, like, better than everybody else, or if I'm, like, I, I don't know. I don't hold myself that high up, you know, like, I don't, like see myself as somebody who you know like you can't talk to just because like I don't I don't know like I don't know why people would feel that way like they can't talk to me I I don't know I'm pretty friendly to like literally everyone that I meet I don't care what you look like I don't care what you're wearing like I'm I'm pretty much nice to everybody like I don't understand why people would be like intimidated to talk to me and like this is i'm getting like super serious because i don't understand what she means by that like i am kind of shy but i'm like an i don't know what you call it when you're like an introvert and an extrovert um but i'm both of those like you can sometimes see the introvert in me and you can sometimes see the extrovert in me but I am definitely, like, an easy person to talk to overall. I mean, like, if somebody were to come up to me and be like, hey, what's up? I will, like, hold a conversation with him, you know? Like, I don't find myself to be a very Im intimidating person. And it doesn't make sense to me, like, a lot. Like, she tries to, she tries to, like, really prove her point. Like, oh, you're not like the rest of the girls. You're not very loud. You don't speak a lot. So, I mean, like... <laughs> which is understandable like I'm not very loud I don't speak a lot I'm not very you know talkative but I mean if you talk to me that like, yeah I will definitely talk back to you but um I, I just don't see myself as you know that kind of person like I'm I'm not a very hard person to talk to um and yeah I think that's like 
w one thing that I, I hear from people, like, people are, like, kind of scared to talk to me. And I'm like, I don't know why. I'm not a mean person. I may go around with my face looking, like, all day. But, like, still, that doesn't mean that she cannot talk to me. Just because I look like I'm not enjoying myself majority of the time. Um, I am still, like, a really cool person to talk to. Uh, a really cool person to talk to I think so um and like I don't know I don't know why sh people would think that I don't know why she thinks that but like I, I like I get where she's coming from but honestly I'm like yeah that's not me like <laughs> I don't get it another thing um is I just think that people don't find me attractive I personally think this ugh, this is so much this is like so self doubty but like I don't think anyone like finds me attractive oh my god I sound like I'm gonna cry but honestly I'm not like if you don't find me attractive then you just don't find me attractive but like um like I just think that people just don't find me attractive like I'm not their cup of tea which is totally fine and that's why I think that I'm more so, like uh, like I'm not in a relationship because like a person that has not found me attractive yet you know and I do complain about it sometimes I'm like I wish somebody just like would walk up to me and be like, hey, you're extremely cute, like, what's up, you know, like, personally, like, I, I think I'm attractive, I, me, Tanita, but I just think that nobody else finds me attractive the way I find myself attractive, because honestly, I think I am, like, a piping hot cup of tea girl, I'm, like, I, I'm, like, everything to myself, but... <laughs> I think that's like another thing. Um, oh no, man. I don't know why people don't want to date me. I'm a pretty awesome person. Um, I, I don't get it. I don't get it, honestly. I see the intimidation coming, like, you know, from what I was just talking about. Like, I see people kind of getting intimidated, like, talking to me just because, like, once again, I don't hold myself at this high standard, but I do feel like. I am not like everybody else, you know? I'm extremely unique. I'm definitely myself. My, listen, my dad didn't name me Tanita for nothing, girl. I kind of see, like, intimidation coming in. Like, I understand that some people may be, like, intimidated to talk to, uh, to, talk to me because, like, maybe they just find me too pretty. Or, like, maybe they just think that they, like, I'm too high up. <laughs> I can't, I can't even take my serious. I can't even take myself serious. Like they, they, like find me out of their league or something. Like, if you want to talk to me, and I'm saying this now, and I'm saying this now, and I'm gonna say this forever. If you feel like you want to talk to me, I'm never gonna shut you down for a person talking to me. I'm never gonna be like, "Ill, you're ugly. Get out of my face." Like I'm not that kind of person. One, because I'm too nice, and two, like somebody in the world finds you attractive like it's just not me you know like I'm never gonna push anybody away for talking to me um and I'm gonna say that for the rest of my life I'm never gonna push a person away because they're not my cup of tea you know maybe like their personality is really great like I might not find you attractive but your personality is amazing you know that's that's what I kind of wanted to get out of this oh my god I feel like so Anyways, um, your girl is kind of going through some ordeals, so we're going to talk about these ordeals real quick. Um, I, coming to terms with it, I think I like this person. Um, just a smidge, just a smidge, just like, mm, that much. And hopefully this person does not see this video and anyway like I'm not gonna give out inf information about this person at all just because I don't want this person to know um so I like this person and I kind of hope this person likes me back and does not think that I am in a relationship currently because I'm not um like um but now I like this person and um I have three scenarios going on in my head. So my first scenario that goes through my head is maybe this person has a, a significant other. I don't know, like, I don't know. Maybe this person does. I've never asked. Am I going to ask? 
Are you dumb? Are you dumb? No, I'm not gonna ask. The second scenario going on in my head is maybe he thinks that I have a significant other when in actuality, I don't. I can definitely tell you that I have a wallpaper of a male on my screen. Um, and like, maybe he thinks that like, that's my man or something and it's not it's really not <laughs> it's really not and like maybe he's like oh dang maybe she has a boyfriend scenario three which is probably like the most logical one out of all of these scenarios um he just doesn't like me like that which is like understandable i get you if you don't like me then like that's cool it's whatever <laughs> I definitely think this is the most logical scenario out of all of my scenarios that I just listed. Or, one and three. Because two is like, maybe he just don't like me. Maybe he had a girlfriend and he don't like me. It, it can go any way here, people. And I'm like delusional in my head and I'm thinking like, yeah, he likes me. He's, he's you know, acknowledging my existence. Maybe he does like me. Um, You see how this all ties in together? See, I know what I'm talking about sometimes. So the last thing I want to get into um, before I end this video is a lot of self-doubt coming from ding, 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 you guessed it, me. Um, I, like, once again, I said that I am, like, a shy person, but I can also be, like, an extrovert. I kind of don't like initiating the first conversation ever at all. And, um, like... That's just not the kind of person that I am. And I try, and people may not see me trying, but I do try to, like, you know, conversate with people. I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say, exercise my free rate as a human to talk to people. But, um, like, I just don't like initiating the first conversation, and I don't like initiating any conversations because I feel like, I don't know, I'm just waiting for somebody to come up to me and be like, hey, yeah, you know, you're attractive. I think that... That's definitely one of my biggest problems. That's why I saved it for the end. It's because I don't like initiating anything first. Just because I'm so used to like people... See, this sounds so braggy, but it's really not. Because it's not a lot of people who do this. <clears throat> but like, I get like people who come to me first. And they're just like, oh my god, I find you attractive. Okay, you're really cute. And I'm like, okay. And I'm so used to like that happening and like when it doesn't happen it's just so weird and I kind of don't like want to initiate the first conversation at all just because this, I'm afraid of rejection mm -hmm. there that's it that's it I'm afraid of being rejected I'm afraid of you know like not being able to succeed in something that I want dang this just got like dark girl um but like I think rejection is like one of my biggest problems I'm afraid of being rejected like seriously um I don't know I so I feel like I want people to come up to me I definitely think that's like a really really big deal that I kind of want to get over I'm trying I promise you it may not seem like I am but I'm trying um like ugh, it scares me it really does just because I know that I'm going to cry and I hate crying if you know me I hate crying I despise crying I feel like you are the weakest link if you cry to me I feel like I'm the weakest link when I cry not to anybody else express your emotions don't be like me um but I'm afraid of rejection man that's that's just the whole the whole thing that just could have been a video in itself, like, hey, yeah, I'm afraid of rejection. That's why I'm afraid to apply for colleges. That's why I'm afraid to do anything in my life, because I'm so afraid of rejection, okay? This is why I don't use my debit card after, like, th after, like, I get to $3. After I hit that $3 mark, I'm like, yeah, I'm not using my card. Because I'm afraid that my card is going to reject. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, ma'am, you don't have enough money to pay for this. And I'm gonna be like, dang, now I'm embarrassed. And I don't like being embarrassed. See, it's this whole thing with me. And I think I'm too into my head so much 
that my brain just psychs me out of little, like, not, my brain psychs me out of, like, everything. And when I mean everything, I literally mean everything. I can talk about this for days upon end. But the whole orb of Tanita is not being able to face rejection. I am scared of rejection. And that's how I want to end this video off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, click that little bell notification when you subscribe too so you can get updated whenever I post, when I do post. Hopefully it's going to be more often now. I say this so many times in like my update videos and it's not true at all. But um, I think I'm going to like really, like I'm, I said it in like my New Year's Eve, like New Year's resolution video or whatever but I'm trying so hard and like I just don't so um yeah click that little bell notification icon so you get notified whenever I post um my social medias are down below in the link and then well the links to my social media are in the description down below there we go got it um I do take suggestions so if you guys want to suggest me anything leave it in the comments or you can like DM me anywhere and be like, hey, you should do this because I don't get those a lot. Um, I think that's the end. I always like am forgetting how to do my outro. Anyways, peace, love, and kisses. Bye, guys.